Thank you, Mary God. Mande Kasuaya. We bless you, we bless you, we bless you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Mande Kasua Brende de Bo. Ramasika Todia Masika Taya. We bless you, Holy Spirit. We bless you, King of Glory. We bless you, Lord of Lords. Ma i katonia masia da la bosha. Ma si katua brende de bosha. Li mazuka tonia bra. We praise you, we praise you, we praise you. Lift your, lift your voice and worship the King of Kings with me tonight. No matter what comes your way, the Lord is going to move in your life tonight. No matter the storm that comes in your life. The Lord is about to turn your situation around. In the name of Jesus. Mande katoria masia da rabosh. Mande le bosia talua. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Please, may you share. May you share. Tonight is going to be fire. Tonight, the Lord will meet you. The Lord will turn situations around. In the name of Jesus. Manda katoria basia. May you like, may you comment, may you share with me. Call somebody to join us tonight. Because tonight, every yoke must be broken. Every burden must be removed. Every barrier must be crossed. This is your platform for taking authority. This is the time for you to tell the enemy, enough is enough. The time has come for me. To manifest the glory of God. Tonight is my night. No more delay. Every delay must give way. Every vision must come to pass. To manifest the glory of God. Your observers must see the hand of God moving in your life. Moving in your marriage. Moving in your family. Moving in your ministry. In the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit tonight, let your presence saturate this platform. I commit my cherished listeners, I commit my this into your mighty hands. Let it be my Zion, where there shall be deliverance, where there shall be your, your power will manifest in the name of Jesus. Let me decrease that you may increase in me tonight. In the name of Jesus. Let the sick be healed. Let the captive go free. Let every tear be wiped off, O Lord. For weeping has endured for a night. But tonight I decree that your joy has come. In the name of Jesus. God will do what man cannot do in your life. I thank you, O Jehovah, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. People of God, this is your servant, Pastor Joe Anochi, coming to you live on Taking Authority Prayer Line, where we take authority, where we combat the enemy. The Bible says you shall take the serpent, and they shall by no means hurt you. I have given you authority to walk upon scorpions and serpents, and all the powers of the enemy, they shall by no means hurt you. So tonight is your night to, to manifest the authority that has been conferred on you by our Lord Jesus Christ. Don't sit down and let the enemy see your tears. You've cried enough. You have complained enough. You have murmured enough. 
You have bowed down your head in shame enough. It's a time to tell the enemy that enough is enough. No more delay. No more frustration. No more setback. No more retrogression. It's my time to advance. It's your time to take territories. It's your time to take possession of your possession. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. People of God, tonight, I am, I am dealing with a subject that I, I, God has given to me. No more delay. Hallelujah. If you, I want you to write it on the screen. No more delay. As you write, so shall it be for you. In the name of Jesus. God bless you. My honorable wife, Mrs. Anoshi, God bless you. Sister Abigail, God bless you. Sister Sharon, God bless you. Sister Joanna, God bless you. Sister Ajo, a free year. Hallelujah. God bless you. Everyone, please may you share this because the time for you to break barriers is tonight. Our ninth topic is no more delay. I don't know whatever has been delayed. Your joy in your marriage has been delayed. Your marriage has been delayed. Your, 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 your progress, your ministry has been delayed. Your anything have, that has been delayed. Tonight, by the, by the working of Elohim, by the speaking of Elohim, tonight, every delay must give way in the name of Jesus. Bless you, Reverend Samuel Edujevi. Bless you, Pastor uh, Joseph Apia. Hallelujah. Tonight, there's no more delay. My scripture is coming from the book of Ezekiel, chapter 12. Hallelujah. I read and will stand on to pray because people of God, we are living on unprecedented times. We are living in a time that even government have no clue. But the government in heaven have a clear clue where we are going. Because the Bible said, uh, it said those who wait upon the Lord, they shall work stronger. They shall, they shall do exploits. Hallelujah. Those who believe in their God, uh, they shall work stronger. They shall do exploits. Uh, tonight there must be an exploit. Uh, tonight every delay must give way. Uh, you must fulfill your destiny. You must fulfill your mission. You must fulfill your vision. Your your ministry, your ministry must advance. Uh, your your career must progress. Uh, and your marriage must. You cannot endure in the marriage anymore. Enough is enough. Uh, the devil is a liar. As his mother-in-law, Hallelujah. You must fulfill God's divine divine purpose in your life, according to Ezekiel chapter twelve, verse verse twenty-one. I read the Bible says, and the word of the Lord came to me saying. Son of man, what is this proverb that people have about in the land of Israel? We say the days are prolonged. Every vision fails. Ah, the days are prolonged. Every vision fails. People of God. Tonight, I don't know what has been prolonged in your life. I don't know what has been prolonged in your ministry. I don't know what has been prolonged in your marriage. I don't know what has been prolonged in your business. But tonight, I was sent by God. I was sent by Jehovah to tell you that, that this problem must cease in your life. This nonsense must be, must be cancelled. You must hear the, 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 the voice of Elohim in your mind in your ministry, in your business, uh, because there will be no more postponement uh, in the name of Jesus. It said uh, the days are prolonged. Every vision fails. Tell them therefore thou says the Lord God, I will lay this proverb to rest. Kataba. It does not matter what people are saying. It does not matter how people perceive you. It does not matter how the frustration I got into. It does not matter what they are castigating and, and insinuating and, and scandalizing you with. Hallelujah. But the Bible said, Thou say the Lord, I will lay this proverb to rest. Because when God shut the door, nobody can open it. When he opens, nobody can up can, can shut it. Tonight the Lord said, I will lay this proverb 
to rest. And they shall no more use it as a proverb in Israel. But say to them, the days are at hand. And the fulfillment of every vision, I decree and declare upon your life. I prophesy upon your life. Any negative proverb that they have they have used and tied you up. Tonight I cancel it in the name of Jesus. I stand on the word of Elohim. It says this negative proverb shall come to rest in the name of Jesus. It said every vision shall be fulfilled. It said, for no more shall there be false vision of flattering divination within the house of Israel. For I am the Lord. I speak and the word which I speak will come to pass. Ah, Masakaya. People of God, God said, I speak and the word that I speak, it shall come to pass. It shall not delay. It shall not, it shall not, uh, it nothing can hinder, nothing can stop it. I am the Elohim. I am the creator of the human universe. I am the creator of heaven and earth. When I speak, nobody can reverse it. When I reverse it, nobody can bring it to pass. Because I am the Alpha and I am the Omega. <laughs> He said, I speak, and the word which I speak will come to pass. It will no more be postponed. For in your days, O rebellious house, I will, I will say the word and perform it. I will say the word and perform it, say the Lord God. Again, the word of the Lord came to me saying, Son of man, look, the house of Israel is saying the vision that we that he sees is, is far many days from now. And he and he prophesies of times far off, off. Therefore say to them, therefore say to them, thou says the Lord, <laughs> none of my words will be postponed anymore. Hallelujah. But the words which I speak will be done, says the Lord God. People of God, tonight no more delay. It does not matter what you are going through. It does not matter how long you have gone through. You need to understand, number one, sometimes you can go through delays and failures in life. For so long that you you would think that it is normal, because you have gone through frustration over frustration and delays and and failure, you come to a point that you start believing your failure, you start believing your frustration, you think that you are born to be frustrated, you think that you are born to 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 be delayed, you think that that is all that God has for you. But I was sent to tell you that uh, it is a life of the pit of hell. Uh, the Bible said uh, the thief cometh not except to steal, to kill, and to destroy. Uh, but I have come uh, that you may have life uh, and have it more abundantly. Uh, my sister, my brother, when Christ was hanging on the cross, uh, when he said it is finished, uh, he meant it uh, because he had finished with the enemy. Uh, he took the keys of Hades. Uh, he took the keys of David. Uh, he said, if I open, nobody can shut. If I shut, nobody can open. My sister, don't let your yesterday frustration determine your present and decide your future. Because our God is telling you that the proverb that they are saying, it does not matter what they are saying in your father's house. It does not matter what they are saying in your family. It does not matter what they are saying. But tonight, I was God has tell me to speak to you uh, that God is about to do a new thing. Uh, it shall spring forth and you shall see it. Uh, the proverb that has humiliated you, uh, the proverb that has, 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 has 
belittle you. Uh, the proof that I put your head in shame. Uh, tonight, the lifter of heads uh, has come to lift your head out uh, of every shame, uh, of every disgrace. Uh, he will cancel your past uh, and write a new future because uh, he said it is finished. April of God. Number two, people can accept it. Families can accept it, but you, you don't belong to your family. People of God, you belong to the family of God. You belong to the to, to, to heavenly family. You can come from your family. It does not matter the family curses. It does not matter the, 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 the curses that and the demands. But you are. The Bible says our citizenship is in heaven. You belong to the family of God. The Bible says he has delivered us from the power from the kingdom of darkness uh, and he has conveyed us uh, into the kingdom of a son of love. Uh, my sister, you have been conveyed. Uh, you have been translated. Uh, you have been transported uh, into a new kingdom. Uh, a kingdom where you, 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 you are seated in heavenly places. Uh, in Christ Jesus, uh, above principalities and powers. Uh, that is why Paul said, uh, I pray that the, the eyes of your understanding uh, may be enlightened to see to know the power people have got no more delay delay is a decision to be a Christian is not about check going. It's not about it's not about dancing. It's about revelation. Paul said that you, the eyes of your understanding may be, be enlightened to see and to know what Christ has finished on the cross. You are you are not a slave. You are being bought and pray, bought and washed. Holy Ghost filled. The Bible says he who is born of God overcome the world. Rise up. No more delay. Enough is enough. Enough is enough, people of God. Your dilemma can become a proverb. When they are talking about you, don't you know this sister that the husband ran away with another woman? Don't you know this sister that uh, she has been in Europe for 20 years with no paper? Don't you know this sister she has married for 20 years with no child? Don't you know this sister who is every, every day is broken? Don't you know this brother who is becoming a womanizer? My brother, my sister, when any proverb that they have tagged you, any proverb that they have stigmatized you uh, tonight by the reason of the blood, uh, by the power of the Holy Ghost, uh, by divine authority, uh, this proverb must be cancelled uh, by the reason of the anointing uh, because because of the anointing uh, the Bible said the yoke shall be broken, uh, the burden shall be lifted uh, and the yoke shall be destroyed any yoke that has been on your neck uh, that has stigmatized you and slow you down uh, and oppress you and suppress you uh, tonight by the power of the blood uh, tonight by the speaking of the blood uh, tonight by the whispering of the blood uh, let it be terminated uh, let it be destroyed uh, by fire by tender people of God number three when, when, when you go through such del dilemmas and this predicament, if you are not careful, you will believe it. You think that that is all God has for you. You, you, you start accepting your problem. You start accepting your limitation. You start accepting your, your predicament and your dilemma. The man who has sat on the, on, on the pool of Bethesda for 38 years, uh, this man built a, a mindset. Uh, he conscientized his mind uh, and thought that there is no one to help him. Uh, when Christ was standing in front of him uh, and the day of deliverance, uh, in the day of, of breakthrough, uh, Christ asked him, do you want to be whole? Uh, this man had been in this situation uh, for so long that he could not see a way out. Uh, but today, there is a way out for you. Uh. Christ asked him, do you want to be whole? Uh, the man started talking 
about what she had what he has been going through for 38 years. Uh, my sister, your day of deliverance has come. Uh, forget about what you went through yesterday. Uh, yesterday is gone. Uh, today is a new day. Uh, the Lord will do something new in your life. Uh, it, I, I will remember, remember the former things no more. For <laughs> he will make a way in your wilderness. Uh, he will he will break rocks into pieces. Thank you, Lord. Don't let your past, don't let the pain, don't let your, 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 your dilemma become a philosophy. Don't let it limit God. Do you want to be whole? The man says, I have no man. The question, do you want to be free? Do you want to advance? Do you want to go and worship? Do you want, do you want to go and manifest the full glory of God? A man cannot help you. The Bible says, can't be on the one who put his hand in the strap in the arm of flesh. But blessed be the one who put his, hand, his hope in the God of Israel. People of God. No more delay. No more delay. A Bible. <laughs> On my three. Life become a mirage. Dreams never materialize. People start believing in the myth that one day it shall be well with me. One day it shall be well with me. People of God, one day is your day. They, the, <laughs> God told Ezekiel, tell them, tell them that that proverb that they are talking about, the vision that had prolonged, that one day that they are hoping that one day will come. Life is too short for you to start thinking about one day. Your one day is today. The, the Bible says yesterday is, is gone. Today, Lord, do something new in my life. This is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. Today is the day that is in your hand. Live by today and let God take care of tomorrow. Don't build your life with futuristic mindset. But believe that God is a God of now. He said, <laughs> our, our dreams, our visions, the days are prolonged. Every vision fails. Every vision fails. You build a, a myth. That maybe one day I will make it. One day I will marry. One day I will enjoy in the marriage. One day my husband will love me. One day my wife will respect me. One day my ministry will grow. One day I will, I will become financial independent. Sir. One day I, I, I will serve the Lord. One day I will, I, I will be prayerful. One day, one day will never come. Uh, because one day you are... Pro, you, because uh, as somebody said, uh, if you want credit, come tomorrow. Because tomorrow never comes. You have to say that enough is enough. Today I am alive. If I'm alive, I am alive for a purpose. I need to fulfill divine mandate. I am sent by God on this earth not to exist, but to fulfill a vision and a mission. Therefore, tonight, whatever it is, my mission and my vision must be accomplished. Don't believe. The Bible has said, the vision fills. And when your vision fills, you will be constrained. Because the Bible says, where there's no vision, my people are constrained. Where there's no vision, my people perish. So when the enemy wants you to perish, he will perish your vision. He will kill every vision. Because if you don't have any vision, you cannot see yourself tomorrow. Because if you cannot see who you become tomorrow, you don't care what happened to you today. But if you know who you become tomorrow, you will take care of your today. Because your today will determine what, what you, you the door that can open. People of God, you need to understand that if you have vision for tomorrow, my sister, you pay the price to walk into your tomorrow. And 
all this time, the children of Israel, they, they were living with their own strength. They were believing in their own wisdom. They were believing in themselves. But tonight I was sent by God to tell you that Hannah said that I was beautiful. My husband loved me. I have everything at my fingertip. But Hannah realized, Hannah realized that by strength no man shall prevail. Not only beauty can sustain my marriage. Not only beauty can sustain my eloquence, can sustain my marriage. Ministry. I need the finger of God. I need the hand of God. My sister tonight, if you rise up and engage God, if you rise up and pull God into your situation, you will not understand how God can work things to your advantage. Because it is not by might. Because it is not by power. Because it is by the Spirit of God. When the Spirit of God is at work, it does not matter what is against you. It does not matter the proverb that they have used against you. It does not matter the proverb that is in your father's house. It does not matter the stigmatization that they have stigmatized your family. But I see that you be the Joseph of your family. You be the Abraham of your family. You be the Sarah of your family. Those that come out of your father's house. You are coming out to show the glory of God. Thank you, Lord. Because they, 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 they were building fantasies. The Bible said, and the word of the Lord came to, came to me, verse 26, saying, son of man, look, the house of Israel saying, the vision that he sees is for many days from now. And he prophesies of time far off. And when a man finds himself in delays, when things you are expecting by you, you cannot, you cannot receive it. You have, you have waited and waited and waited and get frustrated. If you are not careful, you become like Sarah, who, who pushed Abraham to go and sleep with Ishmael and sleep with Hagar and give birth to Ishmael because delays can push you to do what you are not supposed to do. Delays can push you to, 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 to take certain decisions that will, will become a, a torment into your future and your generation. But the Bible said, they are talking about the ambition that they see is far. It's like they build castle in the air. They, they build fantasy world. When you meet them, they talk about good things. They are, they are talking about you cannot see any, any substance. You, they are always talking about fantasies. Life is not about fantasies. Life is about manifesting the glory of God. Life is about believing God. Working with God. For God to turn situation around. The Bible said, tell them... It said, therefore say to them, thou say the Lord, none of my words will be postponed anymore. But the word which I speak will come to pass. People of God, they need a God. You cannot do without God. You cannot do without the hand of God. You cannot do it without the grace of God. You cannot make it in life without, without the grace and the favor of God. You cannot do without the principles of God. You cannot do without the word. Uh, because the Bible said in the beginning was the word. Uh, and the word was with God. Uh, and the word was God. Uh, that is why the Bible said none of my word. None of my word. Because when you know the word. Uh, and the Bible said, and the word became flesh. Uh, and dwelt among us. Uh, my sister God told, God told Joshua. He said this book of the law. Shall not depart from thy mother. You shall meditate in it day and night. Uh, then you will know what is written in it. And observe it. Then you will make your way prosperous. Uh, and have a good success. You need a word. That's why God told Jeremiah. He said, what do you see, Jeremiah? He said, I see an almond tree. God said, you have seen well. I will hasten to fulfill my word. Tonight, our prayer topic, want to pray. Tonight, you are praying. Your first, our first prayer topic, we are, pray, we are praying. That pray for God to speak to you and your house 
hold today. People of God, the Israelites have, have been in frustration for years. They, they, they have become a byword. They, they have become a laughing stock. They are, they, they are, they are, their enemies are laughing at them. Their enemies are, 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 they are castigating them. Their enemies are humiliating them. Their enemies are talking about if you say you serve a living God, if you say you are a Christian, where is your God? People of God, sometimes we, we depend on our natural strength. We don't hear what God is saying because what it's what men are saying. Tonight you want to praise. Said that God speak to me. Lord speak to me and my household today. Not tomorrow. Because no more delay. Our first prayer topic. You are praising God speak to me. In your sleep. In, in your prayer time, in your quiet time, in, through your man of God, through your pastor, anyhow, any means, the Lord must speak to you. You need, the, you need the word of God tonight. In the name of Jesus, lift up your voice, say with me, Oh Lord God, tonight I decree and I declare, by the raising of the anointing, by the power of the blood, in this, in any, any, any workings of the enemy uh, that have closed my ears. Uh, tonight I pray, oh Lord, uh, may you speak to me. Uh, when God speak to you, uh, my, my sister, you will know the direction that you need to go. Uh, when God speak to you, uh, any dead dream come back to life. Uh, when God speak to you, uh, your spirit will become alive again. Uh, tonight we pray, oh God, uh, may you speak to us, Lord, uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, lift up your voice, say, God, speak to me uh, and speak to my household uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, leave my Katalua, my God and my King. Uh, Adonai will call upon you. Uh, Elohim will call upon you. Uh, Adonai, uh, Lord God, uh, you spoke to Ezekiel uh, when the Jews were going through their dilemma, when they, they came to a point uh, that they became a laughing stock. Uh, Tonight we pray, O oh Jehovah, may you speak to me, Lord, uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, open my spiritual ears, uh, open my spiritual mind, uh, open my spiritual ears uh, to hear from you, O oh Lord, uh, in the name of Jesus. Ma ikatalu bayatalua, ma ikatolua brea. My sister, rise up. Uh, you are time to hear from God is now uh, in this pandemic, uh, in this unprecedented that time. Uh, you need the voice of God. Uh, you need the word of God. Uh, what to do? Uh, you need divine strategies. Uh, you need divine directions. Uh, you need divine assurance. Uh, in the name of Jesus. May the Lord direct you. Uh, may the Lord speak to you. Uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, by fire, by tender, by tender by force, ma in talua braha, katon de de baba ya talua, mande katolua. May the Lord speak to you in your marriage. May the Lord speak to you concerning your children. May the Lord speak to you concerning your career. May the Lord speak to you concerning your ministry. May the Lord speak to you concerning your children. May the Lord speak to you in the name of Jesus. So now we engage her. Heaven, uh, to now we call upon heaven. Uh, may heaven speak to you. Uh, may God speak to you. Uh, enough is enough. Uh, you have had men too long. Uh, men have spoken to you too long. Uh, tonight, oh my God, uh, may you shut your ears uh, from the voice of men uh, and open your ears uh, to the voice of Elohim uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, Ma in a rama katua, ma katalua bresa taya, ma ya talua brea. Any spiritual darkness, uh, we unplug it out. Uh, we open your ears. Uh, you will hear clear from God. Uh, you will hear from your mind uh, in the ears uh, so that you can know where to turn, uh, where to stop, uh, where to advance, uh, 
because the Bible said uh, the steps of the righteous uh, are ordered by the Lord. Uh, as you hear God, uh, He can order yourself. Uh, if you cannot hear Him, uh, He cannot order you. Uh, tonight, oh God, Maya uh, Katalua, Rama Sakatalua, in Jesus' name. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Our next prayer topic that you are praying. You are praying that God identify the problem that the enemy and people using against you and your father's house. People of God, it is sad not to know what people are saying concerning you. They will be laughing at you why you don't know there are certain things that they are there is a problem against your father's house against your mother's house in this in this family this is the way they are in this in this family this is how they are when they go to marry they they, they cannot stay when they marry they can they will not be loyal to their wives when they marry, they cannot do it. There's a proverb against your father's house. Tonight, any proverb, whatever is, is, is humiliating, whatever is fighting your father's house, is fighting the man from your father's house, is fighting the woman from your mother's house, your father's house. Tonight, may the Lord identify it. They will not, they will not, because what you don't know will kill you. What you don't know will frustrate you. What you don't know will limit you. Tonight, may the Lord open your eyes. May the Lord reveal it to you. Because the Bible said, God told them, this is the proverb that they are talking about you. This is the proverb that they are also saying. It, is, it has limited them, but they don't know. Tonight, any proverb that they have used you to humiliate and to castigate you, any proverb that they have used to destroy you, tonight, Jehovah, may God open your eyes uh, to know the root of your dilemma, to know the root of your predicament, uh, to know what is fighting you uh, and your father's house. Uh, lift up your voice. Uh, say, oh Lord, open my eyes. Uh, let me know what is fighting the men of my father's house. Uh, how long can my marriage be delayed? Uh, how long can I, whenever I work, I work. Uh, I work as an elephant, uh, but I end as an ant. Uh, this is an error. The Bible says, I see an error under the sun. Servants are riding and, and princes are walking. There is an error. Tonight you are work harder. Whenever you are about to break through, something will hit you. Tonight may the Lord open your eyes. You are a sweet woman, a woman of faith. But any man that comes in your way, they will disappoint you. And you are a sweet handsome hard working man any woman that you propose when they are about to marry they will, they, will, they, will, they will frustrate you tonight I pray oh lord may the lord open your eyes know the root of your challenge know the root of your dilemma in the name of Jesus because when you know the root my sister you uproot it whatever is not planted by the father open your mother Say, Lord, open my eyes. Let me know the root of my predicament, of my challenge, of my battle in my marriage. Where should I go into this marriage and be frustrated? Where should I go into this business for my, my, my investment to go into the drain? Why should I remain in Europe, in America and still be, and still be without a status? Tonight, whatever is fighting me, ah, tonight may you reveal it to me uh, in the name of Jesus uh, lift up your voice Maika uh, Talua Brea Shanda Luka Talua let the Lord reveal the root of your dilemma in the name of Jesus uh, from your father's house uh, from your mother's house uh, by fire by tender by tender by force uh, Maika Taluka Taya Roma Shanda Kulua Brea Zakule Baka Talua Thank you, O oh God, in Jesus' name. Bless you, Prophet Moses. Hallelujah. Bless you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. 
Thank you, Pastor Jemima. Our next topic, thank you, sir. Um, that to him, hallelujah. Our next topic that we all want to pray. You are praising, you are praying that God help me to discover anything that has prolonged my breakthrough. Anything that is causing my vision to fail. Because the Bible says when there is no vision, my people perish. When there's no vision, my people are constrained. When you don't know where you are going, my sister, you will not, you'll be just wandering around. The, 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 the great uh, Helen Keller said, uh, the greatest tragedy in life uh, is to have a man with eyes without vision. Because vision is the, is the inner empowerment to see where you are going before you get there. You are able to project your future before you work towards there. If you cannot see your future, you don't know how to get there. So now we are praying, say, Lord, anything that is, pro is prolonging my dreams, is prolonging my marriage, is, pro is prolonging my ministry, the growth of my ministry, is prolonging my healing, is prolonging the joy in my marriage, is prolonging the... the, the, the the, the glory in my marriage, in my in my career, in whatever tonight, no more that my vision will fail. Say with me, oh Jehovah, by the raising of the anointing, by the power of the Holy Ghost, by divine authority, I hereby decree and declare, oh Jehovah, anything, oh Lord, that has fought my my my, my vision. Anything that has prolonged the manifestation of my greatness in the name of Jesus. Father, tonight let it be revealed to me. Give me the upper key. Give me the upper hand. Give me the key, so oh Lord, that I will know what to do. In the name of Jesus, I will not be left in dilemma. I will not be left in suspense. I will not be left in limbo. Tonight, by the raising of the anointing, as I clap in prayer, may Jehovah reveal the secret to me. In the name of Jesus, lift up your voice. Father, tonight, we call upon you. Let me discover, Lord, why my visions are failing. Let me discover why my greatness is prolonged. Why my promotion is prolonged. Why my ministry is prolonged. By fire, by tender. By tender, by force. My ikatalua prayer. My sister, my brother. Rise up in prayer. Now let, let engage heaven to night. Uh, take authority. Uh, it's your night of taking authority. Uh, no more delay. Uh, no more frustration. Uh, enough is enough. Uh, in the name of Jesus. Thank you Lord. Thank you Holy Spirit. Uh, your next prayer topic that you are praying. You are praying that everything in that is in your life that has been prolonged must be fast forward. And the Bible says, our, our, our day, our visions are prolonged. Our dreams are prolonged. Tonight you are praying for divine acceleration, divine breakthrough, divine speed. God must fast forward your breakthrough. God must fast forward your marriage. God must fast forward your childbearing. You cannot keep on marrying for 10 years without no child. God must fast forward it. You cannot remain in the same office for 10 years with no promotion. God must fast forward it. You cannot have the same ministry for um, and that the ministry start diminishing. God must fast forward growth. God must fast forward financial breakthrough. God must fast forward divine healing, uh, spiritual growth. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, lift up your voice. Uh, say, Lord God, uh, may you fast forward my marriage. Uh, uh, if I am a singular, uh, I am believing you for marriage. Uh, may you fast forward it. Uh, 
as you fast forward the route uh, to be connected to Boaz, uh, may you connect me to my Boaz uh, by fire, by tender, in the name of Jesus. Uh, as you fast forward the ritual uh, to receive the uh, Joseph, uh, may you give me my child uh, by fire, by tender. May you release me, Lord, uh, as you re- as you promoted Daniel uh, to the highest rank in Babylon. Uh, may you bring promotion uh, by fire, by tender, in the name of Jesus. Uh, as you brought growth to the early church, uh, when M- Peter spoke one night, uh, 3,000 people were won uh, for Christ. Uh, I prophesy upon your ministry. Uh, there shall be an exponential growth. Uh, there shall be supernatural growth. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, your ministry will not retrogress. Uh, your ministry will not diminish. Uh, may the hand of God will move. Uh, in the name of Jesus, now uh, by seek a talu- I pray for financial breakthrough. The Lord who gives us power to create water that He may establish the covenant that He swore with from to our forefathers unto this day. May the power of God come upon you to break any financial barriers, any financial hardship that you may fulfill your destiny, you may fulfill your, your assignment by fire, by tender, by tender, by force. To I know, may the Lord fast forward your, your healing. Ah, the Lord will heal the blind Bartimaeus. Ah, may the Lord heal you tonight ah, by fire, by tender. In the name of Jesus, ah, I pray for spiritual growth. Ah, you will not be lukewarm anymore. You be you you the Holy Spirit will come upon you ah, and give you utterance ah, and to connect to heaven ah, in the name of Jesus. Ah, when you sleep and dream, you will remember your dream. When God speak to you, you will discern it. So now we pray for spiritual discernment by fire, by tender, by tender, by force. Maika talu baba. Manda ruba bashi kataya ruba ba ikatua roba ba ya toni abra kando ruba bashi katoa rama sanda ruka talu ba ya taya re katalu ba ba ya taya enough is enough my sister enough is enough my brother rise up in your glory rise up in the power of the Lord rise up any financial hardship tonight let it be broken in the name of Jesus. Jesus, uh, the Lord who supernaturally uh, supply for the seraphim woman uh, tonight, may the Lord supply for you uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, Man, the rabba bashaka, roba sika talua, no more delay. May the Lord fast forward your breakthrough. May the Lord fast forward your blessings. May the Lord draw you closer to Him. May you know Him. May the fruit of the Spirit take over your life. May the gift of the Spirit take over your ministry. In the name of Jesus, may that be miracles. May the presence of God saturate your ministry. May the glory of God that is sending on the early church uh, where Solomon and his people could not do anything uh, because the glory has descended. Uh, he said the glory of the latter house uh, shall be greater than the former. In the name of Jesus. Uh, he said who are you to stand before me uh, as Zerubbabel? Uh, if you are a man to you shall be brought lower to not ask my hand at me. Your hand will finish it uh, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Your next topic that we are praying. He said, you are praying that you every, every vision that you see must be fulfilled. Every vision. Because the Bible says their vision fails. People vision. Say so where there's no vision, my people perish. The Bible is according to Habakkuk 2 2. It says, Write the vision, make it plain. He who reads it will run with it. Though it may tarry, wait for it, for it shall surely come to pass. Tonight I pray, may God give you a vision. May you write the vision. May you have a clear vision. May you know where God is taking you. 
May you know where God is lifting you. Vision for your marriage. Vision for your ministry. Vision for your business. Vision for your life. In the name of Jesus. No more delay. Your vision will not be delayed anymore. No more dead dreams. No more dead vision. No more dead marriages. No more dead business. No more dead ministries. No more dead careers. No more dead investment. Anything that you do, it shall flourish. It shall come to pass. In the name of Jesus. Father, tonight, lift up your voice. Say, God, let my vision come to pass. Let my vision materialize. Let my vision actualize. Let my vision, oh God, in the name of Jesus, open my eyes to see my vision and its fruition. In the name of Jesus, let every vision hijackers be arrested in the name of Jesus. Let every vision killers be terminated in the name of Jesus. Tonight by fire, by tender, let the vision of your marriage come to pass in the name of Jesus. La maconta lua brea, zande de kete lua brea, rabba bayata kunua, zando rua katalua brea, shanda rabba katalu kataya, zakulua brea rabosha, open your mouth and pray. My sister, take authority, take possession of your vision. Your vision will not die, your vision will not die, your dreams will not die, your marriage will not die. Anything that is dead. So now we command it to come back to life. And hear the word of the Lord. In the name of Jesus, we inject the living word into your marriage, into your ministry, into your health, into your joy. My fire by tender, by tender, by force, by in katalu babayataya, ramashaka talu abrea, limazandorobo shekaya. Take authority, my sister. Take authority, my Man of God, uh, take authority, woman of God, uh, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. God said, He said, For I am the Lord, I speak the word which I speak will come to pass tonight. We cancel every false vision. Every false vision in your life. Because there are some visions, they are not from God. It's a setup from the enemy. There are certain marriages the enemy will throw at you it's just to bring you pain. There are certain businesses it's not from God. Just want to destroy your investment. There are certain careers that will destroy you. Any false vision tonight, by the raising of the anointing, the Bible said there will be no false vision. We are praying, say, Lord, any trap that the enemy tried to trap me with, with false vision, so that he can destroy me, so that he can divert your course, so that he can he can circumvent you, so that he can he can frustrate your plans. Tonight, may the Lord open your eyes. May the Lord open your eyes to discern anything that is presented into your hand to know if it's from God or it's, it's a trap. Because the Bible says there are false visions and the flattering of divination. The flattering of divination is, is orchestrated by the powers of darkness. Just to, it comes like a blessing, but it's a bait to destroy you. Tonight we are praying to any divination. Your word said there shall be no divination against Israel, neither any enchantment against Jacob. Any divination against me, any flattering of the of the of divination, that it will, it will work through any man. 
It will work through any contract. It will work through any opportunity. It will work through any, it will present himself as a great opportunity. Tonight, may the Lord open my eyes. May the Lord give me the spirit of discernment to discern when it appears. In the name of Jesus, that you will not be a prey. You will not be, you will not be, you will not be somebody that you fall into their trap. But their trap, they will, they will dig their own grave. They will fall into it. Say with me, Lord, tonight I pray any false vision, any any flattering of divination that comes my way, that comes my marriage, that comes my into my ministry. Because there are certain people they come into your ministry, they pretend that they are, they are for they are, they are, they are Holy Ghost filler, but some of them have just bad spirit, just want to come and frustrate the worker. Tonight we pray, oh Lord, may the Lord open your eyes, may the Lord open your spirit to discern whatever is presented to you, uh, you will not take it as a as a holy communion uh, but you will be, you'll be discerning uh, and know it is from God or it's not from God uh, that you will not be a, 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 a victim uh, in the name of Jesus uh, lift up your voice and say Lord uh, no false vision uh, will take over my life uh, will take over my ministry will take over my marriage uh, will take over my, my, my business uh, will take over your, your career we take over the life of your children. No, no, no way, no child who, who at school will try to will try to influence your children and, and, and divert their course. Any false vision, let it die. Any false vision, let it cut fire. Any false vision, let it cut fire. Any false vision, let it perish. In the name of Jesus, any flattering divination, we mute them right now. We mute them right now. We mute them right now. By fire, by tender. By tender, by force. In Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Our next, last but one prayer topic that we want to pray. We are praying that God speak a new way into your life. Into your marriage. Into your ministry, into your family, into your career. And bring it to pass. Because the Bible says, and, and, <coughs> according to Ezekiel 12, verse, verse 26, say, and again, say, verse 24, say, I am the Lord, I speak, and the words which I speak will come to pass. It will no more be postponed. For in your days, O rebellious house, I will say the word and perform it, says the Lord. I will say the word and perform it. Tonight I want to praise God. Speak your word into my life. Speak a new word into my marriage. Speak a new word into my ministry. Speak a new word into my business. Speak a new word into my into my career. Speak a new word into my in my body for divine healing. Speak a new word into the life of my children. My children will not be gangsters. They will not go wayward. Speak a new word and perform it. Because you are a God of performer. You will perform it by fire, by tender. Lift up your voice. Say with me. Father, tonight we call upon you. May you speak a new word into my life, into your ministry, into your business, into your career, into your children's life, and bring it to pass in the name of Jesus. Speak a new vision, speak a new breakthrough, speak a new healing, speak a new joy, speak a new happy marriage. Oh my God, speak a new promotion by fire, by tender, by tender, by force. Whatever has humiliated me, whatever has frustrated you, whatever has denied you, whatever has blocked you, tonight may the Lord speak a new word and may the Lord perform it. May people see what God can do. May people see what God can do. May God turn 
your morning into dancing. For your weeping has endured for a night. But tonight your joy has come. In the name of Jesus. My fire by tender. By tender by force. My sister you will not fail. Your vision will not fail. My brother your marriage will not delay anymore. My, your children will not delay anymore. By fire by tender. By tender by force. My ikatalu kataya. Rei kanua brenda rabosha. Makatalu abrea. Zandoru katalu barakaya. Rei katalu mayataya. Holy Ghost fire. Move now, oh Lord. In the name of Jesus. My God, speak, oh Lord. Speak a new word. And perform it, Lord. Speak a new word. Into your into the life of your children. Speak a new word. Into your migration status. Speak a new word. Into your career. Speak a new word. Into your ministry. Speak a new word. Into your finances. Speak a new word. Into your worship life. Your prayer ladder have gone down. Tonight I speak the word. May the word of Jehovah come and revive you. May the, the word of Jehovah bring deliverance. May the word of Jehovah bring glory. May the Lord, word of Jehovah overshadow you in the name of Jesus. By fire, by tender, lift up your voice. Take authority in the name of Jesus. The Lord must perform in your life. The Lord must perform in your ministry. The Lord must perform in your marriage. The Lord must perform in the life of your children. In the name of Jesus. May the Lord touch the heart of your husband. May the Lord touch the heart of your wife. May the Lord touch of the heart of your in-laws. May the Lord touch the heart of your in your friends. May the Lord touch the heart of your destiny helpers. Wherever they are, may the Lord speak and perform by fire, by tender. Any powers uh, that is hindering uh, tonight, may the Lord deal with them uh, by fire, by tender. Any powers from your father's house, uh, any familiar spirit, uh, tonight may the Lord arrest them uh, by fire, by tender. May the word of Jehovah come into your marriage, uh, come into your life. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, you will vi- you will envision again. Uh, you will dream. You will dream a new dream. Uh, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Our last, but our last prayer, we want to pray. We want to pray that God speed up the actualization of our vision. People of God, delay vision bring frustration. Delay vision bring confusion. Delayed vision can make you do things that naturally you will not do. Tonight, I want to pray, say, God, don't let me be delayed anymore. The time has come for you to speed up. Oh, Lord, you can do it. You can do it, oh, Lord. You are the God that your hand came upon Elijah to outrun the chariots of Ahab. Let your hand come upon me and give me divine speed. Give me divine acceleration in the in my vision. No more delay. Let your hand come upon me in my ministry. In, in my serving the Lord. Let me be on fire. Let your fire burn in me. Holy Ghost, fill me. In the name of Jesus. I pray all tonight. May you give me divine speed. Say with me, oh Lord. As I clap and pray. May you give me divine speed. May you speed up my vision. May you speed up my, my dreams. May you speed up my ministry. In the name of Jesus. May you speed up my business planner. May you speed up my, my destiny helpers. Wherever they are. May you may, may I locate them. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. Divine acceleration. 
divine overtaken by fire by tender my God tonight we call upon you we call upon you for divine speed for our breakthrough divine speed for a turn around divine speed for divine overtaken those who have gone ahead of you may you receive speed may you receive divine speed to overtake them to recover in the name of Jesus the hand the speed that God gave to David to overtake his enemies how to recover the hand of God that came upon Elijah to outrun the chariot of Ahab so now may this hand come upon you you will not mark time anymore you will not be delayed anymore you will not you will break up from every every totty spirit uh, that crawl uh, you will not crawl anymore but you you, you have the, the, the feet of a deer uh, in the name of Jesus uh, receive speed uh, receive divine speed uh, receive divine speed uh, by fire by tender by tender by force man daru katalua re katalu katalu baba masua bren daru kataya zando kuria mashikata makundo rua bren daro basaya li katalu katalua zando rua katalu kataya ei kandoro kabaya tua ra katalu kataya ba man daru sataya in jesus name. Your last prayer topic that I want to pray. I want to pray that as God fulfill your vision, may God also fulfill his prophecy concerning your life. Because the Bible said in Ezekiel 12 verse 20, 26 it said they prophesied for far, uh, far off. And he prof his prophecy of times far off. What God, a, a lot of us, there's so much prophecy hanging upon our lives. Paul told Timothy, Timothy, wage a good warfare with your prophecy. Wage a good warfare with your prophecy. So now you want to wage a good warfare. Any prophecy hanging upon your life. So now it, it must come to pass. Because the Bible says, none of my words will be postponed anymore. Ezekiel chapter 12 verse 28 said, Therefore say to them, Thou say the Lord God, none of my words will be postponed anymore. But the words which I speak will be done. Tonight, any prophecy that the Lord has spoken unto your life, it shall be no more be postponed. We break every spirit of postponement. We break every spirit of prolongment. We break every spirit of delay upon your prophecy by fire, by tender. May you fulfill your prophecy. Any prophecy concerning your life, what the Lord has decided to do, the devil cannot stop it. The devil cannot hinder it. The devil cannot do anything about it. Prophet, let the prophecy come to pass to fulfill the plans of God. Uh, concerning your life, concerning your ministry, concerning your business, in the name of Jesus, uh, lift up your voice. Uh, say, My prophecy will no more be postponed, oh Lord. Uh, my prophecy will no more be delayed uh, by fire, by tender, by tender, by force. My uh, katalua, li katalua, my sister, wage a good warfare with your prophecy. Uh, the prophecy said, uh, You shall be the head. Uh, you shall never be the tailor. You shall be above. You shall never be the minator. The Bible said those who come against you in one way, they shall flee in seven ways. The Lord said, I will make you a great nation. Your little one shall become greater. They shall not be shut before you. I will go before you as a consuming fire to destroy your enemies that you may go in and dispossess them. To none every prophecy upon your life may it come to pass in Jesus' name. Thank you, Holy Spirit. A last prayer topic. Say, God, I pray that let your word continue to guide me. 
let your word be a light to my feet, to my path and a lamp to my feet. I refuse to walk in darkness. Let your, your, your word bring illumination. Let your word bring revelation. I will walk in revelation. I will walk in your word. In the name of Jesus. My vision will no more be delayed. My vision will not die. My marriage will not die. Your marriage will not die. Your, your, your business will not die. Your ministry will not die. Father, tonight we thank you, Lord. Let your word be alive. Let your word bring healing. You send your word forth to heal all our diseases. Let your word bring sources. Let your word bring direction. Let your word bring your glory into our marriage, into our life, into our ministry. Let your word hang upon my head and showcase your glory. In the name of Jesus, we come against any spirit of delay. We break it in the name of Jesus. We frustrate it tokens. Show us a token for good that they that hate us will be ashamed. Prepare a table before us in the presence of our enemies. Anoint our head with oil and our cup will run over. Surely let goodness, let mercy follow me all the days of my life. I will lift up my eyes to the hill. Where does my help come from? Your help comes from Elohim. Who created heaven and earth. Tonight I pray, O oh Lord. May the Shekinah glory of God. Overshadow you and overshadow your family. Overshadow your children. Overshadow your marriage. May the Shekinah glory of God. Overshadow your ministry. In the name of Jesus. And tonight. I want you to come, go out from this place with this mindset, with this unction, with this grace that to now, today, no, every delay has been canceled permanently and there has been divine acceleration. Your vision will no more be prolonged. Your dreams will no more be postponed. Your, your visions will come Speedily to it full fruition in the name of Jesus and people who have laughed at you, people who have who have had a byword and a proverb behind your back that they are they are they are sticking their tongue to laugh at you. They will bow their head in shame. They will know that if God is for you, nobody can be against you. When God bless you, he does not consult your enemies. He is God by himself. He said, when I speak the word, it shall come to pass. And it will not be postponed anymore. I prophesy upon your life. May your vision come to pass. May the Lord say his word. And perform it in your life. In your marriage. And may God. Bless you. May God glorify himself in your life. In your marriage. In your ministry. In your finances. In your family. In your Im immigration status. In, in your career. Wherever you step, may doors open in his own accord. May Cain serve you. May people run to favor you. In the name of Jesus. Till we meet again. Next week or Sunday on Happy Marriage. And 830. And next week Friday, half 10. On Taking Authority. Please, may you share this video. Someone will be touched and someone's life will be turned around. And I believe as you share it and comment, and I want you to write that to, to, from today, no more delay. Write it and so shall it be. Any delay will be destroyed in your life. Any area in your life that has been delayed, as you write it, so shall it be in Jesus' mighty name. God bless you. May God favor you. 
May God shine his countenance upon you. In Jesus' mighty name. Bless you, sister Maria Safo. Bless you, sister Dachi Hima. Bless you, sister Grace. Uh, and Ma, Ma Grace. My child, bless you. Bless you. Bra Austin, my judge, bless you. Sister Elia, uh, Jasmine Tete, bless you. Everyone who have been with me, bless you. My, my, my pastor, Re Reverend Edu Jemfi, hallelujah. God bless you all. Keep shining and keep this mind on Christ. Let the word of God richly dwell in you so that you manifest his glory. Bye-bye for now. This is your servant, Pastor Joanna G. I love you. Jesus loves you most. Bye-bye. Thank you, Marie. Marie,